and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi. Welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. I know my hair is different again. I change my hair constantly. It's back to blonde. I have not had my hair blonde in a very long time. It is still kind of orangey and brassy in some parts. Um, I do have blonde shampoo to kind of help that out and I will be bleaching it one more time further down the road. Right now I'm just going to kind of let it rest and set so we're all going to have to kind of deal with the crazy state of my hair. But at some point it will be the nice icy blonde that is on top and I'm super excited about that because I haven't done it in a while. Well, now that I got that out of the way, I am doing a collaboration today with Nikki Murphy here on YouTube. I'm super excited about this. I kind of asked her and was um, very pleasantly surprised that she said yes. She is awesome. I absolutely love her channel. I love that she is kind of a no BS person and will put her opinion out there even if people don't like it. I really do like that about her. So, yeah. We are doing a collab. Um, she's using the Urban Decay Beach palette, the new palette that came out. Um, and I am duping the palette and we're both trying to create looks with those colors today. So I'm super excited. Um, she's doing more of like a chit chat get writing with me. I'm probably going to do it more tutorial based. But I'm really excited to see what she comes up with and how her look turns out. And if you guys not, have not checked out her channel yet, I highly recommend it. Her channel will be linked down below as well as her um, Instagram and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start talking about the shades and stuff. I'm going to put her swatches up here in the corner. Um, I got these from her Instagram. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So... The first shade in the Urban Decay, and I do have notes written down for this, as always, is Salt. And I found that Tarte's Pearl here is a very similar shade here. So, yeah. Her um, swatches will be in the corner again. And then for Blaze, I have this Oakalon um, Matte Palette here. And we're going to use this shade here, Glitz, for that. It's similar. It's not like 100%. Some of mine came out so, so close. Some of them, not so much. So it's a little more. Uh, it's close to that, at least. Then we have Heat Wave, which I got out of the Glam Metals palette. And it's the shade Wild Nothing here. So my whole goal with this was to get it as similar as possible and I think I think I accomplished that I kind of want to um, but you guys can let me know down below then we have daybreak and I got this um, the shade for my dupe is in the Kat Von D Satan Center palette devil I also think that the orange shade in the Modern Renaissance palette would have worked, but this one was just closer when I went through and swatched. Then we have Double Dip. I think I got the shades a little mixed up. I just want you to know that. Like, mixed up in the order of what they are in the actual palette. I'm going to need a makeup wipe here. Okay. So, the next shade is Double Dip, and I'm going to use the My Little Pony palette the shade Twilight right here. I think it's Twilight. You know, they mix them up. It could be something different. <laughs> but we're going to call it Twilight. So there's that one. And then we have the dupe for Plunge, which I also got in the Kat Von D Satan Center. And that is Vestment. Let's go ahead and swatch this guy on here. There's Vestment. Um, 16th Street is actually going to be this, um, it's from Cadaver Cosmetics. It's Phenomena. It's not exact, but this was the closest I could get. And I'm really kind of leaning towards using that. And then Wedge, I, right here, and it is the shade The Wicked for that one. 
So there you go. There are my swatches. I think I did a pretty good job of getting similar. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and start the tutorial. The swatches will stay on my arm. Okay, so I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm using that as my eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette and I'm going to set that with the shade Conch. I also use the shade Marina from that same palette as my transition shade. Just really blending that in there. And then I go into the Kat Von D Satan Center palette and I take the shade Devil to work into my crease as well as well above my crease. I really want that orange shade to kind of show in this look. I don't play with orange as much and I was really feeling it when I got into this. Then I go into the Glam Metals palette from Crown and I take the shade The Wicked on my outer V and into my crease. Just really working that into my eye. Blend, blend, blend. Gotta blend it. Now onto the other eye. Yep. Then I go back into with that original fluffy brush that has the shade Devil on it and I just kind of blend everything together. I'm trying to really have kind of a good blend because, well, we don't, we all know what unblended eyeshadow looks like. It just does not look pretty. Then I'm going in with the NYX Glitter Glue and I'm going to put this on all over my lid, kind of like a half cut crease. And I like to use the glitter glue because it makes um, these shades like the shade Vestment from the Saint and Center palette really stick to my eye. The only thing I wish I had done was used a smaller eyeshadow brush. Um, this one was a little big and a little difficult to work with. So if you're going to try and recreate this look, I would definitely go with a smaller eyeshadow brush. And if I haven't said it already, you can literally pick different shades. You don't have to have the exact shades I used here to kind of dupe that palette. There are so, so many. And just kind of making sure that's all blended and looks nice and neat and then I'm going on to the other eye I hope you don't mind that I kind of sped up half the face because I did not want this to be a 30 minute long video that is not my goal in life just kind of fixing it and making sure it all blends then I'm going in with this Ciate London liner the fierce flicks liner and I'm literally just lining my top lash line with that now I'm going in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Need mascara. Then I'm going in with the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. And I'm going to do my brows. I will say this, I am somebody who likes a darker brow with blonde hair. I'm not really into the blonde brow products. So if that's not for you, I'm sorry, but that's kind of what I'm into. I don't know, I just like the way it looks and I might rock some weird color brows here and there just so you guys know again as i always say when i speed through my brow tutorial i wish this was how quick i could really do my brows but you know boom brows done going back through with a spoolie then i'm going in with my amuse anti-redness primer i like this primer because it's a little sticky but it's also very moisturizing and it only costs a dollar. And then I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Mount Foundation and I use the shade 150. Blend, blend, blend. And can I say, I've been using this foundation for a while and I really do like it. I am going to do like more of a thorough kind of thoughts and reviews on this. If you want to see that, it will be here in the future. But I do really, really like this foundation. Then I'm going in with the Color Pop No Filter Concealer, and this is in, I want to say light neutral, yes, light neutral. I'm blending that all over, all over, all in the spots that it is. And then I take the Cody Airspun 
um, translucent extra coverage powder. I like this powder. It does the job. I've used other loose powders and I keep coming back to this one. But I am mixing this with my NYC loose, um, smooth skin loose powder. I'm trying to use that sucker up with it. It's been working nicely. And when I say a mix, I literally put it in the Cody Airspun. Gotta make it perfect. It's looking pretty good. Take it down my neck, make sure it's all nice and set and looks decent. Then I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm going to use the shade Subconscious <laughs> to do my contour. Then I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and really bronze my face. Then I'm going in with my e.l.f. Blush Palette. This is the light palette and I take that upper corner shade. Really go ham with the blush. Then I'm going in with my Kat Von D Basket Case Liner Anti-Precision Liner. I love using this to line my waterline. And now I'm going into the ColourPop My Little Pony Palette. And I'm taking, I want to say it's the shade Twilight, but you never know with these things, but that greenish blue shade. And I'm running that on my lower lash line. Doing the other eye. I really like how that works with the shade Vestment. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Colossal Lash Mascara, Volume Express Mascara, I'm doing that. And then I'm going into the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea and I'm using the shade Pearl to highlight my brow bone. I think this is going to be my brow bone highlight for a while. And then I go into the Ocalon Metal Matte Palette and I take the shade Glitz and I'm going to work that into my inner corner. Then I'm going in with the ColourPop Liquid Ultra Matte Lip in Monday, my favorite ever. Now I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Highlight, Spotlight Highlight Palette. You guys know I love this palette. It is just mm, amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please go check out Nikki's video. It will be linked down below. Thanks again, and I hope you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and bye!